It's the stirrup pump girl, in an age of pumps that includes that modern marvel, the fire pump, to say nothing of the pub pump. <laughs> Gosh, what a draw that is. And then, of course, there's the human pump. But to understand a pump, we must come down to earth. The atmosphere presses it in all directions with a force of 15 pounds to the square inch. Mother Earth can't complain that she's never been squeezed. If we take an open-ended tube an inch square, we'll find that the air pushes in both ends with a force of 15 pounds. Oh, so you think we can't prove that air presses upward? Well, watch. Now, now, bottoms up. As you see, the air at the bottom supports the water in the glass. Air presses up. We close the top to remove top pressure, and as the diagram shows, the air supports a column of water 30 feet high. It doesn't matter how wide or thick the tube is, the pressure is the same. If we put the open end of the tube in a bowl of water, we find that the air will push the water back if it is forced down. And that is why an atmospheric pump will only work to 30 feet deep. A simple example is a syringe. But squirting water out and taking it in again doesn't get us much farther. We must divert it where it's most wanted. Hence the one-way door or valve. See how it opens to let the water up? But the same little door shuts if we try to push the water out. So we must have another outlet. There. A valve here prevents the water returning. A glass demonstration pump shows how the valve operates. It opens when the water goes one way, but shuts when the water tries to return. The liquid is coloured so that you can follow the one-way flow. Yes, it's all a matter of pressure. Sweet 16 and 16 shapely square feet. The atmospheric pressure on her body is 16 tonnes. There's the simple little hand air pump and the giant power-driven force pumps that supply London's water. The mighty valves in the very heart of the capital. This may be the newest form of pump, but the oldest is perhaps still the greatest. Ah, me? Who goes there? It's Don Marie.